Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 26 in the Did You Know series in which we'll be taking a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K20. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could see your suggestion featured in a future episode. Did you know that you can now select the Lucha comeback as a corner move? This one comes from Josiah Downer and Lord Loquat who reveal that the Lucha comeback that was previously used by Rey Mysterio is now selectable as a standard corner move in Create a Move Set. Should you select this move and assign it as a regular move rather than a comeback, then this will see the first part of the comeback play out in which you throw your opponent to the mat before then climbing the turnbuckle. At this point, rather than performing the next move in the sequence, which should have been the seated senton, the sequence will instead end, leaving you on top of the turnbuckle. Whilst this move appears to have been added in error, it can prove to be extremely useful for superstars who featured diving finishers to standing opponents such as Ember Moon, as using the Lucha comeback as a corner grapple makes for the perfect setup. Once more, setting it up! Is it enough? Is it enough? There it is. Now the question is, can Ember Moon finish? Open your eyes again to Ember Moon's tenacious offense. Did you know that the Wasteland Wanderers DLC includes updated trons and music for Batista? This one comes from Alpha Austin and Warwick who reveal the addition of new Titan trons for Batista as 2K have included these new trons for Grand Champion Batista that somewhat resemble the ones he last used at WrestleMania. Despite being included for Batista's DLC model, these trons are also available for selection and create an entrance, meaning it's possible to assign them to Batista's regular model. Alongside the Trons, 2K also included Batista's old entrance theme Monster, which would have been perfect for classic versions of Batista, however as of right now, this doesn't appear in Create an Entrance and is exclusive to Grand Champion Batista. Did you know that 2K have included new tag team finishers for the Iconics and the Boss and Hug connection? This one comes from the Bella Twins 30, who reveals the addition of two new tag team finishers that were added in as part of the recent 1.06 patch. The first of these new tag team finishers is for Billy Kay and Peyton Royce as 2K have included the Iconics finishing move which is listed as the Iconics knee. Oh, a knee right to the, face. the second new tag finisher is for Sasha Banks and Bailey as alongside the Iconics knee, 2K also included this new combo finisher featuring the backstabber into the Bailey to Belly. belly, to belly. These new tag team finishers aren't assigned by default, therefore you will have to assign them manually and create a moveset where you'll find them listed as the Iconics knee and the backstabber belly to belly combo. Did you know it's possible to export your My Player to use in other game modes? For anyone who's finished this year's My Career mode and wants to use their My Player outside of the mode but doesn't want to go through the hassle of recreating them, Friend Players reveals that 2K of this year added an export option that allows players to export their My Players. This new option can be found by going to the customization tab within the My Player screen and then selecting My Players. In here, all you need to do is select the character that you want to export and then press the export button which is triangle on PlayStation or Y on Xbox to export your My Player as a custom superstar which you can then use in the likes of Exhibition or Universe mode. Did you know that it's now possible to break out with the weapons that are featured in the new weapon entrances? This year seen 2K include 3 new entrance motions that feature weapons, the first of which is titled Chainsaw and sees the player come out wielding a chainsaw similar to the old Finn Balor demon entrance. The second one is titled Chair Swinging and sees the player make his way down to ringside waving around a steel chair, whilst the third one is titled Extreme Icon and sees the player come out with a Singapore cane. Whilst these entrances are pretty cool by themselves, Horror Guy YT reveals a fun glitch that makes them even better, as should you press the grapple button to break out of the entrance, then this will see the weapon glitch and become attached to the player's hand where they can then continue to perform strike and grapple moves with the weapon. Despite the fact that this glitch is just a visual one and the weapon isn't actually used as it's supposed to, it can make for some pretty cool moments depending on the moves that you use. So there you go, that was 5 things you might not know in WWE 2K20. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then you can check out the previous video here, or alternately you can subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for more Did You Know videos each and every week. Until then though, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.